Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about browser caches and how to clear them. So what is a browser cache? Well, as an example, say you go to a web page and there are several dozen images on the page. Some of them are part of the logo for the site, the navigation bars, and there might be some photos in the middle. What will happen is these images will be downloaded to your computer so they can be displayed inside the browser. Then if you were to reload the page or visit it later, instead of your browser calling out to the internet to reload all those images again, it would have saved copies of them locally on your hard drive in what is called a cache. And then it will load them right from that cache instead of downloading them a second time from the internet. This saves time and bandwidth. But Sometimes having things to cache can lead to trouble. Say if a page doesn't load correctly, especially if it has more complex content like maybe some sort of game or other interactive form or something. So sometimes it's useful to know how to clear your cache and load a fresh new copy of a web page. So in Safari, the way to clear your cache is to go to the Safari menu and you'll see an empty cache menu item right there. To select it, It'll ask you if you're sure that you want to clear the cache and just click empty. Now if you haven't done this in a while it may take a few seconds to clear the cache out. So where actually is the cache? If you go into your user folder under library you'll see a caches folder there. And you're going to see a ton of different folders in here because different programs use their own caches. They save their own internet loaded data or maybe user generated data so it could load it from a file faster than it can actually recreate the content. So you see a lot of different stuff in here and if you look down under com.apple.safari that's where you'll find your Safari browser cache. And the cache is actually this .db file and here we'll see that this one's 12 megs in size. If I would switch to the browser here and empty the cache and then look at the database, I can see now that it's shrunk to only 25K. Now if you're using Chrome instead of Safari, the way to clear the cache there is to go to Chrome and then clear browsing data. That will take you to this special web page right there and allows you to check off what exactly you want to clear. So if you just want to clear the cache, just have that one selected and click clear browsing data. If you use Firefox, go to Firefox Preferences and under there go to Advanced and you'll see Offline Storage and a Clear Now button. In Firefox you can also go into Privacy and under that go to Firefox will use Custom Settings for History and under there check off Clear History and Firefox Closes Settings and you can select to have your cache, just your cache, cleared every time that you quit Firefox. Now on the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad you can also clear your cache. The way to do that is to go into Settings in the Settings app, click on Safari, and one of the settings there is simply a button to clear the cache. A few things I've observed about clearing the cache in Safari. One is that it doesn't always completely clear the cache. There appears to be a memory cache as well as a disk cache. So I find that it's useful to not only clear cache but then quit Safari and restart it just to make sure all the images are loaded fresh from the website. Now it used to be that browsers had a setting where you could specify how long images and data were cached for. That's no longer there in most browsers. That's because most modern websites will specify for each piece of content how long to cache it for. For instance, if you go to a weather website, it may have the weather site's logo at the top cached for a long period of time, but a little image that shows the current temperature, it may say, never cache this, always load a fresh copy. So if you're ever told that clearing your browser's cache may fix a problem you're experiencing on a website, now you know how to do it. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.